Hello everyone, I'm AD Zhang. Today I'm going to talk about the carbon dioxide sensor, which is so-called CO2 sensor in abbreviation. First, here's my motivation. We can easily see there are CO2 sensors that show us the concentration of CO2 in auditorium. We all know that there's a relationship between the concentration of CO2 and humans' physical and mental health. Based on the standard made by SHARE, which is American Society of Heating, Refrigerating and Air Conditioning Engineers, the concentration of CO2 in the room should not exceed 1000 ppm. And that's why I want to investigate the electronic device for measuring it. So, let's talk about the principle of it. There are two ways to measure the concentration in the room currently, which are electrochemical method and optical method. The electrochemical method has the advantage of having a lower price, but however, with a slower reaction speed, inaccuracy, easy to saturate, and a smaller temperature range that can be measured. The optical method is just upside down in both good and bad. Here we focus on the optical method. It used the two concepts of the characteristic of gas. One is that gas will absorb the specific wavelength of infrared. And the other is that the concentration of gas and the amount of absorption are in direct proportion. For instance, the CO2 gas will absorb the certain wavelength of 4.23 mm. In this simple figure, we can see that there's a IR lamp which is the abbreviation of infrared lamp and there's a IR bandpass which is used as a gas filter. The green mark is shown as CO2 molecule and the red mark is shown as other gas molecule. We can see that CO2 will absorb the specific wavelength of IR lamp. However, the other molecule won't. By this means, the energy in the IR lamp, which is absorbed by CO2, will transfer into heat, and then the remaining light hits an optical filter that absorbs every wavelength of light. Finally, an IR detector reads the amount of light that was not absorbed by the CO2 molecule or the optical filter. The difference between the amount of light radiated by the IR lamp and the amount of IR light received by the detector is measured. The difference is proportion to the number of CO2 molecules in the air inside the tube. And here are some applications. Typical applications are the sensor settling in the meeting rooms, gyms, and the coffee shops for measuring the concentration of CO2, which is an index of the air quality. The other significant contribution to the world is applied in greenhouse for controlling the growing of the plants and to decrease the use of pesticides. With this modifies, we have a better world indeed. Thank you for your listening.